Guillotine Shearing Operation Tutorial, applicable for E21S. Part 1. Fill the oil and cable connections, filling the oil tank with anti-wear hydraulic oil. Fill the oil from this port. Connect to a three-phase power source. Switch on the power source. Turn on the machine power switch. Connect the pedal switch to the machine. Turn on the power switch. Release the emergency stop button and start the oil pump. Check the main motor's rotating direction. If it rotates clockwise, then it is correct. If it is rotating anti-clockwise, press the emergency stop. Exchange the two wires connection. Part 2. Machine Start Up Turn on the machine power switch. Turn on the power control key. Release the emergency stop switch. Start the oil pump. Waiting for the system loading. Part 3. System Operation In single mode. Manual movement. On single step parameter setup page. X. Current position of X axis, A, current position of A axis, G, current position of G axis. Click, and enter the manual page. Click, operate at low speed in increasing, or decreasing directions. Move the cursor to the XB value. Input 100 and confirm. Click the run button, turn the key to the continuous. In continuous mode, click. Select or input the program serial number and click. Input the program step to be 3, and click. Click, to enter the first step setup page. Select XB, input 150 and confirm. Click, to enter the second step setup page. Select XB, input 100 and confirm. Click, to enter the third step setup page. Select XB, input 120, and confirm. Click the Run button. Part 4. Cutting. In single mode. Placing the metal sheet. The sheet will touch the stop fingers. Step the pedal switch and cutting. Part 5. Measurement. This video only provides the measurement result in the single mode. Measurement of raw sheet length 455. Measure the sheet after cutting 355. Part 6. Maintenance. The blade holder of the guillotine shear no longer cuts the plate nor can it move up, and there is no response when stepping on the foot switch. Open the ball valve and observe the pressure gauge of the accumulator. Another employee needs to press and hold the refilling button. After observing the accumulator pressure gauge rise to about 10, close the ball valve and stop pressing the fill button at the same time. At this point, the blade holder should have been successfully lifted. The guillotine shear returns to normal operation. Part 7, Switch Off. Press the red stop button. Press the emergency stop buttons. Turn off the power switch. 
parcel. Save time, money.